So we lost the whole interview? Do you think we do that again? Tyler Kaditz. I drive the Hydro 350 uh, number 195. I'm from Brockville, Ontario, Canada originally. I live in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada now. Okay. And um, could you tell us like what happened out there because like we saw the boat and it looked like there was a problem. Um, well so to start we, uh, we had a little issue with the uh, throttle cable. Uh, it wasn't hooked up so we got it hooked up and uh, before the five minute gun uh, and uh, we were able to go out there and then uh, I think on lap two there's a bit of a crosswind coming across the uh, course and uh, I didn't uh, I guess miscalculate how uh, strong it was and just about uh, ended up upside down so uh, I'm happy that uh, it came back down and we were able to finish uh, shiny side up in uh, second place. Very good. Um, can you tell us more like how the boats work, how fast they are? Well, the boat uh, this weekend is running a lot better than the last weekend that we had it open, so it's uh, turning really nicely. It does uh, anywhere from, I'd say, 115 to 120 miles an hour in the uh, race, uh, depending on what uh, size of course we're on um, out here, be around those speeds. When you get wet, like, do you feel like, is that why you have the wetsuit on? Because, like, when you get wet, like, does it keep you dry or at all? Or do you no. Get so this is actually a fire retardant driving suit. So this is to, to protect us uh, in the event of any fire. So oh. the SFI 5, I believe, gives me about 15 seconds of, uh, of time to get out before you're 15 seconds of on fire before you have second degree burn. So um, it is very wet right now because you sweat a lot uh, in the uh, race. It's uh, hot in the cockpit. So um, yeah, that's the try not to get wet inside the cockpit, but from sweat it happens. Okay, that's it. That's how do you keep it dry when you're going out to the boat? See, the boat's out in the water. How do you keep it dry? Yeah, so some of the guys here have little floaties that they uh, go out on. I was lucky enough that my crew was able to kind of push the nose in enough that I can uh, hop from the beach out onto the tip of the sponson so I don't have to get my shoes wet. Um, we try not to get wet inside the cockpit because then it causes, uh, it's moist inside the cockpit and then you start fogging up your windows because we don't have a defogger system uh, there. So we try to stay dry before we get in the boat. Okay, and then I see that your boat's name is, what is it? Uh, awesome Secret. Awesome, yeah, Awesome Secret. So how did that come about with that name? Yeah, so I think that I guess was a name I inherited from my dad uh, in his time of racing and uh, my oldest brother ran with this uh, boat name, so I kept it and uh, it was an awesome secret with two dollar signs, I think, because uh, it was a secret uh, probably to my mom how much uh, money he was spending on his engine. <laughs> Um, so it depends on how competitive you really want to be. Um, you can buy a Hydro 350 for anywhere from uh, twenty to forty thousand uh, dollars use, or up to probably sixty thousand uh, brand new, and then your engines are anywhere from uh, fifteen to twenty thousand. Again, depending on how competitive you want to be, you can buy used engines from five to ten thousand if you're just trying to get into it. But if you want to win, and you're going to spend probably fifty thousand on the boat, and another twenty thousand. Uh, on the engines and then probably $1,500 a propeller. Oh, wow. 
lot of pretzels with that money. Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, with, definitely. Is that your only racing boat where it's only like one person, or do you have more than one racing boat? No, nope, this is the only boat that uh, I race. Um, I have a pleasure boat at home for the weekends when I go out uh, with my girlfriend uh, or family. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the one-seater, uh, one-race boat that I run. Oh, nice. Okay, and then how about any pretzels in Canada? How are they? <laughs> so we our pretzel selection is a little bit lacking in Canada actually we uh, um, you can you don't get the fancy pretzels here like you do I uh, found these uh, dots pretzels in uh, New York State and uh, Pennsylvania and different places that uh, it's a nice salty uh, flavored pretzel that uh, is good for drinking uh, adult beverages with well then you'll have to definitely come to Pennsylvania sometime yeah or <laughs> as you said earlier Pretzylvania yeah so I didn't realize this was a thing but uh, apparently that's the uh, the state motto and uh, pretzels in history on your YouTube channel here so I'll be having a pretzel tonight or two uh, with a beverage can we join you with that yeah yeah we got a whole bag of dots pretzels you're gonna have to have some because yeah, I, so I can't eat it all that's for sure <laughs> and then um, what was the other thing that we um, I did want to know a little bit about the boat do they lift out of the water how does the boat like compared to like a regular boat how do they act yeah so your regular boat is like a V-bottom displacement hull, so it's always like kind of cutting through the water, whereas these are hydroplanes, so they're designed to pack air in the air trap, so they're skimming on top of the water, hydroplaning, uh, so to speak, on a, on a basically a pad of air. So sometimes if you get a, a block of wind come in like I did, uh, you pack a little bit too much air, and then it uh, becomes more plain and less hydro. So... Yeah, and it's not good. You, you, yeah. They take off really easily. They don't land so well. And then how old were you when you started racing? And how old were your brothers when they... when they? How old were your brothers when they started racing? And how old were you when you started racing? Yeah, so um, I was 11 when my oldest two brothers started racing. Uh, I started coming here uh, when I was a kid. Uh, and then when I started racing about eight years ago, I was 29, uh, I started coming here to Lake Apacon because uh, I like the uh, race course, beautiful uh, state park here, some nice restaurants in the area. We'll be going to uh, Muldoon's tonight for, uh, um, for some beverages and some uh, food. And uh, yeah, it's just a great place to come. Like how, how do you beat being on a beach uh, at a boat race? So it's a good place. Nice. And then um, how many titles and championships have you won? So I don't have any titles or championships under my belt uh, yet. I've gotten uh, third place in uh, high points for the Hydroplane Racing League, um, which is a very competitive class. I was quite proud of uh, that accomplishment. Um, I won a final here uh, a number of years ago. Uh, my dad was here, but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, a championship will be in my future. But let's try to be consistent this year and see what happens. Well, good luck to you. I hope you do get that title and that champion. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Wish you the best of luck, sir. Thank you.